out in a little bit. I just thought I would show you guys my outfit. Um, I wore this on my Instagram, and yes, I look crazy right now. I have zero makeup on. I just have um, drugged elephant bronzing drops, um, and then Reformation Top in Medium, the TNA Sweats by Aritzia in um, a size small in white, and then I'm going to be wearing my Fila Disruptor 2's Pretty Little Thing cardigan, um, and then Lily Silk Scrunchie, um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have on. Um, on our way to the airport. Oh, I look fat. Got our luggage. Okay, we just um, got to the airport, checked in our bags, and now um, we're gonna head up to security soon. That's why I have my laptop out. The mess that I have made after filming my, um, what's in my carry-on video, and the mess that I just made, wow. Okay. Here's what the lounge is currently serving. Eggs, potatoes, a lot of breakfast fruits. Some, um, Do you need a spoon? Juices. So this is my memory foam pillow that I featured in my um, what's in my carry-on bag and um, other videos. I'll leave links to everything that I mentioned down below and also what I'm wearing and different details like that. Also these slippers I'm showing you that I do use. It actually came in so handy. They're so plushy actually um, and perfect for a flight. My brother and I are twins. Couple shoes. <laughs> My dad is in love with that Lily Silk pillowcase. So I just made it to Seoul, South Korea. We didn't come alone, we came with a nice little friend. Just what happens when I fly, like I always break out even if I like maintain a skincare routine. Um, but we just made it and I we're transferring right away to Busan, which is like, is it an island? Oh, it's just a city. <laughs> My sister looked at me like I was crazy. We're going there, it's my dad's hometown. So we're going there, and I'm literally, oh my gosh, my dad's watching this video so loud. I can't like formulate sentences right now because I'm so tired. But um, we still have like 30 minutes before we're gonna board, but it's nice to have Wi-Fi because Korea is powered. Like when I say it's lit, like I'm not joking because you can find Wi-Fi immediately when you get off the plane. Like. Wi-Fi is all across the city, 5G network, like what Korea is, it's literally powered. So it's all set. But we're gonna get a power bank too, cause um, that's, a, that's another thing, like a pocket Wi-Fi. That's something that you guys should all like get when you travel and stuff. It's a lot easier than using your like data or anything like that. Just get like a pocket Wi-Fi, it's super inexpensive too, so. Okay, so we made it to our hotel suite in Busan. Um, it's actually like a full on like Almost like an apartment kind of because it's got like a full living room, a kitchen area, a master bedroom, a TV area and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do a full on like tour, I just feel like that's really silly. And my sister and my dad left to go get some like food and fruit and like just fresh stuff for us so we can eat when we wake up in the morning. I'm actually um, going to sleep right after I take a quick shower and stuff, I'm going to sleep. And hopefully, because right now it's actually, I don't have my watch, but it's like 9 o'clock p.m. in Korea. So when it's night, it's always um, a.m. in America. That's like always the way I remember it, 16 hours time difference. When I'm, I'm going to take an Ollie um, Nutrition sleep gummy to help me just sleep all the way through the night. So that when I wake up, I just feel really, really rested and just have a lot more energy to like start my actual day. That's how I get over jet like really, really easily. Good morning you guys! So it's day one in Busan and we're actually going to a really famous spa now. Um, we're gonna get a couple of like body scrub massages and different things like that and just like spend a day to decompress and relax especially after traveling and stuff for so long. So I feel a little bit like a human. I just don't have any like makeup on now. I just wash my face and put some sunblock on. I'm gonna throw on a hat and some sunnies and then we're gonna head over to the spa and then today we're eating. So Busan's really famous for a lot of their seafood a lot of their um, like a specific fish market which is what it's really really famous for so um, I just packed up my long bag which is actually pretty heavy because it has 
all of my makeup and everything like toiletries all that kind of stuff um, I'll show you guys my outfit on the way but it's pretty just basic and something that you know looks really casual but yeah I think that's everything we're just packing up getting ready to go we had breakfast in the hotel at a buffet um, I'm so excited and I'm so excited to take you guys with me okay so my sister and I and my whole family we went to this spa and in Korea there's like spas like everywhere that you can just take a shower you can like do full like body scrubs and stuff but a quintessential drink after you go to a spa is a banana milk and I know it sounds really weird because we don't have this in the states but it is like the most life-changing thing and they give you like a little straw like this is actually for this it's so different than like like a regular straw it comes with this so I got this for my brother but we got these small little cute Vita Cocos. You know, in Korea and in Asia, like everything is so much smaller. Like things like pads and tampons. <laughs> it's like so much smaller. These are smaller. Um, so yeah, but um, we just got like a basic scrub. I feel like a human again. I have a full face of makeup on, lashes on, and I feel so good. I'm ready to eat some really good food, and yeah. So I'll see you guys in We're getting our tickets now, and in Korea. Um, so we're, we're going to Chagachi um, now, and um, in Korea, you can use like your tea money card or like a little oyster card. That's too loud. Um, a little oyster card that um, you can load up with money and then you can just like take bus transportation, like everything. Also, I did put on a little pimple patch. Mm. Yeah. Getting the vlogger shot now. We're here at something called like Chagachi Shijang, which is like a fish market that's very famous. And they shot the scene in Black Panther. I'm gonna insert it. Um, but they shot this scene here in Busan, South Korea. How cool is that? Okay, this is the Chagachi Shijang. This is like what you can sit anywhere, pick out a fish. It's completely. Uh, Okay, at this point of the video, I was so incredibly overwhelmed. When you go in here, especially as a tourist, people will try to grab you, pull you, tell you that their store is the best. And you can see how many shops are in here. There are people who are trying to make money here and they have all different types of fresh seafood. It might kind of freak you out, but they prepare it. It's all fresh, it's all clean, so you can eat whichever one you want. Yeah. It's Dory, I'm just kidding. So um, once you have picked out what you wanted to eat, you go upstairs and they actually clean all of the um, fresh like meat that you just purchased. And then um, this here is live squid. So we bought live squid, or I think it was live octopus actually, um, some other seafoods. I was just showing you that the carrots here I had last time, I had a huge stomach ache. I ended up throwing up just because like, just be careful, you know, like the water and stuff, it's like not, always really really amazing um, and this is live you just want to make sure with this dish you chew really really well it will stick to the insides of your mouth if you don't um, so don't get freaked out you just want to make sure you chew chew really hard as you can see they're moving here and it's actually a really amazing dish I like dipping it with the red sauce um, this is abalone and this is again raw as well it's really delicious it's kind of got a um, really hard cartilage like texture but it's super chewy at the same time so again, if you're not a fan of seafood, I wouldn't recommend, but I love it so much. I also thought I would show you this fish that we were eating. It, I think it's called flounder. Honestly, I don't exactly know the English names of each of them, but I dip it in the chojong sauce, which is red. Um, some of the fish also have their bones in it. You just have to chew it really well and you'll be fine. <laughs> Perilla leaf. Oh, wow. Yeah, garlic and extra stuff. Wow. Crazy. And since I have like a full face of makeup on, you have to just crush it really, really small. Like super, super bite sized. Mm. Yeah. 
Here is another fish dish. Again, this is raw sashimi. And um, if you go to the market, you can just ask them for recommendations and what's popular. Don't be scared if there's a little bit of fish bones left in it. You can just chew it well and it's fine. We hire to you guys. This is just Sprite. A little clam or mussel. This is called Meung Tang. This is fish, spicy, spicy, spicy fish, spicy seafood soup. That man is yelling. So I thought I would share why this guy was yelling. Pretty much um, these group of Korean women and men from the countrysides of Korea, they drive in these huge buses in groups of like 30. They come to places like this to not only have a good time, but um, a lot of these travel groups will travel together. They'll do a cheers, like in, in cheers in Korean means wihayo. And so they'll like, you know, all yell it at the same time together. And I guess it's kind of a cultural experience. Um, and they'll just like take a shot of soju they'll or they'll do like um karaoke by themselves and just like put a spoon inside of an empty soju ball and i'll shake that around as a tambourine so it's a lot of fun for um people who haven't seen it before but for the people who work there it's really annoying yeah! 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 Um, there's a ton of really really yummy like food shops and stuff street kiosks and stuff Look at all that food. There's also a lot of fake watches, so beware. No, this is where they do the Busan International Film Festival. Oh, I see. There's so, there's so many <laughs> So here's one of the most famous hotdog places. Hotdog is deep fried pancake. Um, as you can see, um, they're like sliding over the batter. It's kind of like uh, now an attraction, I guess, for people in Busan because this has been featured on TV shows before. A lot of foreigners will come to this place and this is famous because they have this seeded um, type of filling. It's normally made with like a honey based filling, but this one has um, seeds in it. So they claim that it's a little bit healthier for the deep fried dish. But honestly, I mean, it's deep fried. You guys, how healthy could it be? Um, it's actually really delicious. Um, and pretty much it has a crunchy outer texture, but incredibly like doughy mochi like interior. Um, and then you get the crunch from the seeds in the inside. There's a lot of people that will try to like when you come to Korea and you aren't like American or you aren't Korean, um, they will push you to like try to buy their, you know, food or they'll like pull you to the kiosk. So stand firm unless you like that, then, you know, enjoy. But this is one of my favorite places. So, uh, put it just like slightly out towards the sun. Oh my God. Take a bite. I didn't try and get any of that on my lipstick. Mm. I'm just running into people. Oh, that's my dad. So then I just spent some time sitting in Paris Baguette, sipping on a cup of coffee, um, just to recharge because it is a lot of walking. It's a lot of feet work when you are, even though you're eating and this and that, sometimes you just really need to take some time, especially when you're traveling for yourself and just relax. So I called my boyfriend and um, at this point it was like nine or 10 at night for him in the States. And then it was um, like right around one o'clock or two, 12 o'clock in Korea. So so, um, but yeah, traveling is a lot of fun, but the worst part is just like not taking care of your body if you get sick and stuff. So make sure you do that. But let's move on to what I had for dinner. Uh, this is called yuke. Uh, you put the egg yolk on top of here and you mix it in. It's raw meat, but it's like clean enough for you to eat. We ate a ton of other beef dishes and pork belly, um, but as you can see, there's a lot of side dishes that Korean um, barbecue places will give you, so try them all out. One of the best ways to eat um, pork belly or beef is to wrap it in a leaf of like, or a, 
I'm not exactly sure, like lettuce. <laughs> I was like trying to look for the word. Um, or a perilla leaf. And um, this is typically the way that Korean people eat. The rice is always saved for the soup dishes and the jigas or the stews. Um, they don't actually eat the rice with the meat. So you would think that, but in order for Korean people to eat the most meat and not get full so fast is to eat it with the lettuce. So wrap it around, even try it at home maybe. It's a a really healthy alternative if you don't want to like you know eat a ton of rice and get all those carbs so i really personally like prefer eating this way and as you saw earlier in the clips i ate the sashimi that way as well so it's a really popular way for korean people to eat again you can see it here i just fold that leaf in half put some um uh, soybean paste on it and um, just wrap it up and then eat it and it's so delicious Okay, we've been on the hunt for a very specific chip that I had a year ago and I finally found it. It's only sold in CU stores. It's called, you better screenshot this if you're going to Korea. You need to try these. They will change your life. They're so good. It's called Corn Choco Plus. Screenshot this right now. I'll give you a moment. Pause this video and screenshot because this is gonna change your life. It's so good. But you can only buy it at CU stores. Olive Young is also a really, really good drugstore for makeup. Um, let me flip this around. I also got a clip, a little pearl clip moment, um, which I've been really loving. But yeah, Olive Young, it's like back there. So right there, Olive Young is like a really famous um, Korean beauty store, supply store, like a CVS, like for drugstore stuff. Um, this music is so loud. The lighting in this part of my room is so good. Um, I just like literally opened up the curtains. But we are going to quickly just try these um, Corn Choco Plus uh, Corn Choco Plus chips. It's literally like a brownie covered in fudge, but like puffed up in a cracker. Oh my gosh, I literally was looking forward to this moment. They're so good. They're just as good as I remember. Okay, if you like dark chocolate, this is perfect for you. It's definitely got more of a dark chocolate flavor than a milk chocolate flavor. Do you guys see how it's covered in chocolate like right up at the, the half? It's so good. Do you know like the texture of pirate booty or those puffed up like corn chips? Like cheese puffs or like those types of things? It's got that same texture. Um, you get like a little hint of corn but not like overpowering. And then over it, it's coated in like chocolate pretty much like it's coated in actual like melted chocolate the crunch becomes more moist if that makes sense i don't know maybe i'm going too deep into it i got these two other clips um i got this one here and it's like a little square one so let's just throw this girl on here yeah so I could wear it like that if I wanted to. I think now, this is this is where we're going. It's literally right outside my window. Let me show you guys. That is where we're going, this mall. It's one of, it's like one of the biggest malls in Korea, Shinsega. And then Lotte Department Store has all of your department stores, like Louis Vuitton, you can see, you can even see Louis Vuitton is like right there. So this is in Hyundai. This is like the biggest part of Busan. So you guys definitely have to come here. But this is just the view from our hotel room. Um, we've got Trump World right there. That's what it says up there at the top. Can you guys see it? Trump World Hotel. This is where they have a lot of like red carpet events. It's just a convention center. And then Home Plus, which is over here, is a pretty much like a Walmart. It's like a huge um, grocery store. You can buy like clothes there. You can buy whatever you want. So that's Home Plus. This is Busan, South Korea. So it's actually a holiday today. That's why this place is actually closed. And this is actually just the subway right over here. So everything's just interconnected, which is really cool. 
So if you ever get lost or you don't know where you're going, I highly recommend looking up a department store or a really big mall near you with all the designer brands because the people who work there will most likely speak English as so many foreigners will come and shop um, designer name brands. So that's just a helpful tip for anybody, regardless of what country you're going to, just a tip to use. We just popped into a grocery store because we're looking for some fruits and we came and saw these strawberries. You guys, Korea's fruits are like way too perfect looking. Look at these. Look at how crazy and perfect these strawberries look. Janet, look at these ones. These ones are crazy. Like all of this packaging, oh my gosh, like look at these strawberries. It looks like wax figures. Okay, like oh my. And you guys, look, it's the body shop. You guys know how much I love the body shop. They're also launching the Himalayan charcoal too here. How cool is that? So now we're just buying some fruit. Looks good. We're heading into literally my favorite store in my entire life. Good morning, you guys. So we're headed out. We're checking out from this hotel and we're actually flying to Seoul tonight. We're going to um, come something called Spa Land, which is another like um, sauna, spa thing. Um, it's pretty popular here in Busan, but we just packed up all of our bags now and we're going to head out and I'll show you guys my outfit a little bit later on. We just left the hotel and they have all of our bags. We're on our way to Shinsege, like that mall that I showed you guys yesterday. So pretty much the um, the spa land is inside of there, which I didn't know. Um, I thought we were like riding a taxi to like another place. So it's inside of there. And that mall is actually really, really nice. I think it's like, I think it's pretty significant. I just don't know what the significance is. That's Shinsege, amazing. My shoes are Banana Republic. Just recently got them. They've been amazing to walk around in. So we're actually going down into the subway because um, a lot of times in Korea, the crosswalks are actually way, way, way further like down the street. So you end up having to go down into the subway and then crossing over like underground the street and then getting out on the other end of the street. This is us underground crossing the street so that we pop up and come up the other side. I also understand why Korean people are like so fit and small because these stairs, you don't need to work out. You don't have to work out ever again. Um, that lifestyle of just like walking around everywhere I think keeps Korean people looking so good and always being so fit and small. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Okay, so here we just crossed the street actually. We were just there. Spa land. You guys, it's closed. Oh no. We're like trying to find another place because it's, this place is closed. Why did you do that to us? So because it's closed, I think we're gonna try and find a different um, like place to, to go like to a sauna. This place is like really, really popular and famous, but I think it's like a holiday weekend or some sort for um, like the city or something like that. So I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but I will keep you guys posted. Okay, so I don't think I'm actually allowed to film in here. I thought I would just tell you guys that we were at a gym chipala means you like change into these outfits that they give you and you go and you steam yourself so that's what we're gonna do and I'll take you guys upstairs so this is what a gingerbong looks like um, this one is multiple floors so you can like lay down in there and sweat a little this one says do you mean what's pulsok mean okay so this one is like a gem crystals kind of one this one is Himalayan salt. You have the salt on the floor and you just sit here. Okay, whoa, whoa. Um, and it's got the salt on the floor and you can lay down. That's how hot it is. It's 80 degrees Celsius. This outfit is like the most unflattering thing in the entire world, but it's super comfortable. You've got the 90s 
basketball short type of style shorts and then just like a t-shirt that they give you the reason we stopped by Busan first was actually for that reason to go to spa land but in korea you could pretty much find a um like bogyoktang means like a community communal shower experience place spa um you can find one of those in like like so many around you and then a gym jirbang is something like this where it's like you can wear these clothes and sweat in these like cave looking things um and then like eat snacks with like and then you can like be communal and like you know watch tv or whatever so people like genuinely like don't even sleep in hotels they sometimes sleep like in a gym jirbang and like it's so cheap to be in here and yeah it's 24 hours but i don't recommend it because you don't know what could happen overnight like i've heard some like really kind of weird fun like crazy stories that's what i love about korea they have so many opportunities for people to just like go to like self-care and they have opportunities for people to just like relax i definitely think that's like something that america is lacking in um don't be surprised if like korean people kind of like look at you like like you know or i don't know like you know i think korean people are slowly shifting their like bathing experience i guess to like everybody i've noticed it in la like um a lot of different people like colored people different people like every everybody of like different backgrounds and stuff are all coming into the um korean spas in la so i definitely see a change but i highly recommend spa land if you're coming from um if you're coming to busan okay we just left the spa and um we're all feeling pretty refreshed, right, Sam? Are you feeling refreshed? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, now we're gonna go to eat crabs and all this other seafood. Yesterday we had more like raw fish and sushi types of food. Today we're going to get um, crab and more like a seafood because this area is so close to the water um, and the ocean. So you get really, really fresh crab and really, really fresh um, seafood and things like that. So that's where we're headed off to. So um, when you're in Busan, there is always, um, there's a, every hour there's a flight from Seoul to Busan. We're gonna try to get to the airport a little bit earlier to um, try to switch up our time. Uh, my dad just stopped into a pharmacy to get um, some medicine, I think, because his stomach's been hurting. So I'm just going to speed through us walking through Kijang Shijang, which was the name of the place we were at. Now, this is another like market type place, like a farmer's market, kind of. They have fruit, clothes, um, fresh fish, um, fresh um, just everything. And there are people who come out every single day. This is their business. So it was pretty cool to see. Um, but now we're eating crabs. So this is what we're eating for lunch today, fresh from the beach. Yeah, I need to back up. He's splashing. a splash zone. Splash zone over here. These are all like the side dishes. So we've got broccoli, koguma, um, muk, corn, shrimp. Cabbage. We just came upstairs from, so like as I was showing you the market, a lot of these buildings that are around it are like restaurants or places where you would buy the fresh meat or buy the fresh um, seafood and then you go upstairs into whatever like restaurant and they have seats like this where we're sitting here. We're just like on the floor. There's no such thing as like chairs really. Uh, um, for most of these places, you just sit on the floor they like lay out all of this like side dishes and um, they are steaming the crab that we just bought right now. This is definitely a cultural experience in my opinion because in Seoul it's a lot more like westernized so there's restaurants and like there's a lot more like what America is like but can I have half that? But in Busan, like it's much more cultural still in the sense that like you have you can experience things like this where you sit on the floor, you know, you get fresh crab from the sea or fresh um, seafood from the sea, just like markets and, and different things like that. So um, that's not true. But that just keeps telling me that all I do is carry my camera. I'm a YouTuber. 
what do you expect? So if you are ever like intimidated and stuff, people outside, especially when they see foreigners, they get really like, they get straight yelling at you and try to like drag you in. They'll, they'll get physical sometimes. They'll like drag you into their restaurants and stuff. And probably follow you, yeah, and probably like overcharge you too. But just try to be strong. <laughs> you guys look at this. Can I eat it? Yeah, take some. Wow. Let me show you guys how my dad's doing it. He's used like those pliers thing. And you just eat it like that. Take these pliers. Oh, these ones are already open. These ones are already open. You need this thing. Scoop it out. I just got that in my hair. Oh, oh, there it is. Ooh. This is fried rice with the intestines of the crab. Mm, it's so good. And then we've got like a like a soup to go with it. All right, here's the aftermath of everything we ate. Just a couple of legs. Oh yeah, ew! That looks like a bear claw. That looks like a bear claw, like the, the dessert, the pastry. So we're on our way back to the hotel. We just finished eating, and as you can see, we had a really, really delicious meal. You know, our, our lunch was pretty healthy for the most part because it's all fresh seafood and stuff, so um, it was actually pretty healthy. I really like wash, wash your hands after. Yeah. And sometimes sitting on the floor is a little bit, you know, Yeah, my stomach was like in so. rolls. And I'm wearing a strapless bra, so you know exactly what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> and that wire is up on you. Okay, we just we just made it through security um, at the Kim Hae Airport. Is that what it's called? And um, now we just got some drinks, like coffee and stuff, at Coffee Bay. It's literally Bay. This stuff is really good. Um, but. We're taking like a little a little jet situation and going off to Axel. Finally here at um, Seoul, and um, that flight was literally so short. It was like an hour, less than an hour. We're gonna. I need to sign off on this so I can get my bags. Let me also tell you guys something about Korean people. We really like being first, and whenever we get out of a plane, we will always be like one of the first people standing, just to like get in the front of the line. And it gets really annoying for other people. I totally understand that. But now we're like literally first waiting for our bags to come out. We really care about like our priority stickers and just getting all of our stuff, being fast, fast, fast. Just because that's the nature of like who we are. It's our flight. If you guys have made it this far to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I never know if you guys love my travel vlogs, so make sure to smash that like button if you loved it. Um, the next vlog video will be my soul travel guide video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!